ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to the channel today we are exploring microsoft loop a relatively new app from microsoft and we're also having a look at microsoft OneNote. also of course a microsoft product been around for a little bit longer we're going to compare them and see which one you should be using so let's get into it the first thing I want to go through, of course, and something that's always important to me is its usability, its interface. OK, so I'm having a look at Loop now and I'm going to go in and show you one or two things. Organizing is straightforward. OK, it comes with a bunch of templates, um, integrations, things that are easy to use. OK, you can see over here, this is actually a template and you can customize the template to your liking as uh, such as this cover image and the profile picture. You can also change the heading right here. You can move stuff around, as you can see, drop and drag. So really, it's kind of like you're working with elements and you can move these elements around. You can also have more than one page or more than one workspace. And then you can also change all of the elements within these workspaces. So again, like just for example, you can switch the view here. All right. So you can actually have a, a board view instead of having this table view over here. All right. You can also see that there is uh, the option to sort within here. Uh, you can filter as well. And you can also just expand your table if you'd like to. And then you can also hide your rows and columns. You can now also move this around. OK, so it makes it really easy to customize this whole touch and feel. If you want to now also start to integrate things like um, an AI assistant, it's already in here. You don't have to go ahead and um, perhaps uh, have an integration or or anything like that you can see that i've already used um you can use this symbol for the ai um to jump in and to take over and help you or assist you on whatever it is you're doing whatever project you're using now you can see up over here um, on the right hand side you have some options as well and then um, on the left hand side you can add workspaces you can add pages links and so forth so really it is very very simple if you hit this plus button and you say new page you can go ahead and actually create a template so if you just go to this template gallery there's a bunch of templates that you can actually use here that are going to make your life a whole lot easier now all you need to do is just customize the template and make it your own okay so if you're working with large teams this is a great space to do so. Um, however, you may find that there might be a little bit more of a learning curve. And I'm going to tell you exactly why once we jump into OneNote. So OneNote is a little bit more traditional. If you've used Microsoft products before, you're familiar with Microsoft products. It has the very same layout as Excel, um, Microsoft Word, and so forth. So you can see over here, we've got File, Home, Insert, Draw, History, Review. That's all exactly the same. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying that it's a familiarity. So people that are um, using a note-taking app for the first time, this is going to go up easy because it's something you're familiar with and you've used before. So there's nothing wrong with this interface. You're going to be doing the same thing here. You know, you can enter titles, you can add information, you can add pages. However, on OneNote, it's a little bit more manual. OK, so there aren't all of those templates like what we had a look at in Microsoft Loop, you know, to create all of these templates. You can't really do that the same way. Now, one of the things that you can do here is you can create it all individually. So you can add tables, pictures. Uh, there are a couple page templates here, but it's not as intuitive as um, how this actually looks in Microsoft Loop. One of the other things is that if you want an AI assistant, you're going to have to go ahead and add it in. So you're going to have to add the copilot into Microsoft OneNote and um, thereafter you can, of course, use it. But again, like looking at Loop, it already has that AI assistant built in. So you don't have to go and add it in. Um, it's already in. It's part of the program, part of the base program. So comparing these two, if you are 
working in a in a large team loop yes definitely would be a better option because it's a little bit more intuitive it has more options however the learning curve will be a little bit steeper because uh, there's a lot of new stuff going on here however if you're just doing note taking and you're looking for a simple note taking app that is um, straightforward and it's going to give you decent features then um, OneNote from Microsoft is a better option and again I want to just mention the fact that you know this easy interface the usability the um, functionality of uh, you know the um, familiar layout of all of the Microsoft products it makes it so much easier to use because you feel like you've already been using it for such a long time now, what do you folks think? Do you enjoy using OneNote? Do you maybe currently use Loop? Are you looking to uh, swap over? Let us know in the comments section below, and we'll see you next time. Happy organizing, people. Peace out.